Hello, mini nukes, and welcome back to Red vs. Blue. So we are moving on to season seven. Sorry it's been a little while. Um, I've been trying to get back on my feet, I guess. Things were a little funny after I finished playing Resident Evil 3. Some of the stress was coming back to me again and I was just taking it a little bit easy because the last thing I want is to burn myself out and <laughs> have recordings be all over the place. So I'm okay now. We're gonna get on with season seven. Don't worry, it's not gonna be a thing that I do once a week or anything. It's just, Things have been all over the place, so don't worry, I will be recording these reaction episodes regularly. But we are going to watch the trailer for season seven, because I think a few of you had said to watch the season seven trailer, and then we'll just get on to the season. Don't know how long it's going to take, probably just a few react episodes like it always does. I think there are some more mini series at some point in, in between maybe season 10 or something, I don't remember but we're just gonna focus on season seven. As you can probably tell, the lighting is a little bit different in here. It's actually daytime for once when I'm recording a video. It's been ages, and I mean ages, since the last time I actually recorded some, some Let's Plays or some other videos when I was actually daylight outside. So it's really nice to, to have some natural light come through. Uh, I've still got some lights on just so you can see me a bit better, but yeah, so the lighting's a little different. I hope it's okay, though. Um, I'm sure you can still see my lovely reactions while we watch, but um, yeah. So here we go, Red vs. Blue, Season 7, and we are starting with the trailer. Go. Sarge, I have some really exciting news. I just think everyone is going to find this very, very exciting. Well, spit it out. The Blues are completely undermanned right now. What do you mean by undermanned? What do you mean by exciting? It looks like they have received no reinforcements after the last mission. I need to double check my numbers, but if it's just Caboose over there, that means we have a four-man advantage. Ooh. What part do you need to double check? Is it the part where you counted their guys, or the part where you counted our guys, because they both sound really tough? Shut up, Griff. No one's talking to you. Hmm. This could be strategically advantageous. Or maybe it was the part where you subtracted one from five. Math can be hard. Hey, Lopez. See. Si. Fire up your calculator unit. We got a doozy. Uh, you can't do that. I had to remove that application in order to install a new free app I downloaded. It's a program that could be vital to the morale here at a new base. Hase para eructa ruidos. I don't want to spoil it for you, boys, but let's just say it's hilarious. Decimos que usted es un idiota. Actually, you do need to recount. We don't have five guys, we only have four. We got Donut back. You can't count Donut. Why not? He's unconscious right now, but when he wakes up... Unconscious? He's been out for three days. I think it's okay to upgrade him to comatose. Well, I think we should count everyone. I'm an equal opportunity counter. Yeah, because I'd hate to go into battle without donuts. I mean, hell, if I'm counting you as a soldier, I should count the vehicles, some of the bigger rocks we have lying around here. Fuck it, let's give the trash can a gun. At least I can subtract five and one without double checking. Oh, can you? Ah, great. I'm sure this all end well. I, I just can't believe that those idiots are responsible for my death. Twice! It's embarrassing is what it is. I don't fire! That's bad! Bad fire! Bad <laughs> fire, go away! I mean, if I was killed by an alien, or a monster, or, you know, like some kind of sorority blowjob massacre, that I could handle. Please stop burning! Nothing else burn! And look at this. This is my legacy? I mean, what did I do in my life to deserve this? I mean it! <sighs> it seems it's all gone so wrong. Well... What are you going to do about it, Church? Do? What can I do, Tex? I'm dead. I'm gone. Oh, come on, Church. 
They say you're never completely dead if someone still remembers you. Yeah, but look who's left to remember me. Him? Oh, God. Now I'm burning. That's much worse than other things burning. <laughs> sure feels like being dead. Like all the way dead. Like somebody encased me in cement and then fired me into the sun dead. Oh, God, why does he keep chasing me? Ah, it's nice. It's just a long way back for us. Okay. So then we're done? Okay. Let's try that again. But with less fire on me this time. No. No, we're not done. Well, if we're not done, let's get started. Hey, have I ever told you how helpful you are to me? I mean, you're so full of fucking wisdom. What would I do without you? I try my best. And you have no one to blame but yourself. Eh? What was that all about? Was that Church and Texas Ghosts then? Huh, interesting. <laughs> interesting little trailer there. So I suppose that just sets the scene for us then, because I, I feel like that was continuation of what we saw at the end of season six, and now moving on to season seven. So that's that's nice. Still a little confused as to the little part there with uh, church and text, but I'm sure that's going to get explained because the show always explains any questions that I tend to have. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna dive right into episode one. God, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. new equipment. 
who else are we going to test it on? Who cares? The war would be over. Oh, great. You're suggesting we don't attack them? Griff, that's borderline traitorism. I think the word you're looking for is treason, sir. Never mind, Sarge. I was wrong. If the war's over and we win, well, that's just great. Of course it would be. I mean, no more early morning runs? No more training exercises? Why would we need to do any of that stuff, right? We won. Right. And all this new equipment, we can just let it fall into disrepair. I mean, we don't need it. We won't even need to test it, because we're winning. We're about to make it all obsolete. <sighs> and just think about this, Sarge. No more boring staff meetings. Ever. <laughs> hey, Blue! There's, uh, gonna be a slight delay in your destruction. Hang tight! Maybe I should call our new command. They'll tell us what we should do. Yeah, the old one was so great, the new one's gotta be even better. Command! 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 This is Blood Gulch Outpost! But wait, I mean, Simmons, what's the name of this place again? Valhalla. Valhalla, get Jagal call it. Thingy. Outpost number one! Do you read? Come in. I need advisement on what to do about Blue Team. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? We have one enemy here. We can milk this for years. No. Blue Team. Blue. If we beat them, Command will just send us to some new base where we have to fight a real team. So? So? Do you want to fight one shitty enemy or five real enemies? B-L-U-E. Blue. Try looking under. Suck it. You want me to help you subtract one from five? I know that's tough for you. Shut up. <laughs> hey, guys. What are you doing here? Just getting parts from the crash ship. What are you guys up to? We're deciding whether or not to kill you and wipe out your team forever. Ah, that's tough. We're kind of split in the decision right now. Do I get a vote? No! C get back to your base! Stop wandering around during your defeat! It's confusing! <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. What is and this? what are you working on? <laughs> They're not telling you! Hello? 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 They hung up on me! Why? They said they didn't even have record of a blue team! Nothing on blues at all in their computer system! Well, oh. duh. Oh. What? We deleted them, remember? From Command's computers. We wiped them out. We did? Yeah, don't you remember? Oh, right. Simmons, execute the hypotenuse initiative and delete the blues. Done. The blues now never existed. I also upgraded your pay scale while I was at it. Well deserved. Yeah, we win. <laughs> Lord, I am dead. But that's okay. I don't deserve to enjoy victory. My life has meant nothing. What a great day. Simmons, transform to motorcycle mode. You got it, sir. What? Chook, 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 chook. Beep, beep. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> of course it is. Then how am I still alive? I ask myself that question every day. Moto Simmons, run him over. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was great, though. I love that. That's great. <laughs> I have been watching uh, a fair amount of Rooster Teeth's content recently, like the podcasts and the Achievement Hunter stuff and, you know, bits and bobs. And I always thought that seeing the voice actors in, in real and hearing them talk would be really weird, but I got used to it. But I also thought that maybe that might take away from from me watching the show because I, I kind of know them a little bit now. But it really doesn't. I, I still feel like I can see them as their characters and, and detach them from their, their real selves. So thank goodness for that. <laughs> because I do like the, the, the content that they make. So it's nice to be able to watch this show and watch their other stuff and keep the two separated. Then there was a time we got a tag. At first, Noah knew how to drive it, but then there was a big fight. My team got in trouble. So I talked to the tank. She was really nice. You're really gonna like her. Anyways, the team was in trouble, and I had to use the tank to drive out there and help them. Well, help most of them. Some of them. Okay, let's just say this. I drove the tank, and some people got helped, and some other people didn't get helped. Details are really important. Griff! Where the hell are you? Griff! 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 Come on! I'm in here! Where are you? Griff, I need you! In here! In the base! I can't hear you! Get out here! Okay! Damn, what is it? Where's Simmons? Simmons? If you wanted Simmons, why didn't you yell like a lunatic for Simmons? Damn it, Griff! I entrust you with one duty! And that's to know exactly where Simmons is at all times so I can find him! Simmons watches Donut, Donut watches me! Yeah, who watches me? Nobody! You have less than Donut does! Now where's Simmons? I don't know, he's downstairs in your hologram simulatron, or whatever the hell you call it. Excellent work, Private Griff! Wow, thank you, sir. I'm gonna recommend you for a big shiny medal! Okay, you're being sarcastic right now, aren't you? Oh, absolutely! 
Wait, was your question sarcastic? Who knows? Probably. Unless... Wait, are you being sarcastic right now by asking that? <sighs> Maybe we should drop this conversation. <laughs> yeah. What's Simmons doing downstairs? Sorry, not in my job description. Uh, I'll ask him myself. Simmons, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Sorry, sir. I was just down here working on the Jeep prototype. I know you really want to see it built, and we need to work out a few bugs in the design. A few bugs? Yeah, you know, like the fact it stalls every time we fire the magnetic cannon because you're based on an EMP. Oh, right. Kind of a critical flaw, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, I don't mind you saying. Feedback is important. It's just that sometimes I feel bad criticizing your work. You know, because you're in charge and all. Simmons, there's no reason to feel that way. You're a valuable member of the team. I always find your feedback to be both insightful and appropriate. Really? I know I can be gruff sometimes, but that's only because it's hard being the leader. You know, dealing with those dirty blues and that lousy Griff character all the time. He is lazy, sir. I don't mean to complain, but sometimes I just need a friend. Simmons, we've been working together a long time. I hope I can call you a friend, and that you can call me the same. Gosh, sir, I don't know what to say. If it's okay with you, I would really like it if I could just call you Dad. Simmons, are you down here? What? Yes. I mean, yes. Give me a second. Don't come in. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. I was just working on your Jeep design and... What? Stay away from my Jeep. It's perfect. You'll just mess it up. Yes, sir. And who are you talking to? <sighs> Nobody. We'll get upstairs on the pronto. We need to have a meeting, and I need someone to agree with me. Do you want to brief me on the details first, so I know what I'll be agreeing to? Oh, yeah. I'll get right on that. Send you a memo. Really? Because I've been working on a template, and I think it's ready no, to- No, of course not. Why the hell would I do that? What, you get exposed to radiation or something down here? That boy's gone crazy. I like my digital life so much better than my stupid real life. <laughs> That was so convincing. I love boners! Except <laughs> Big Griff. Finally! Maybe now we can get started! What's your problem? Nothing. Leave me alone. Ben, as you know, the Blues have been erased from command records for some unknown reason. Unknown, sir? We're the ones that did it! You can't prove that! I think we can. Prove it to who? Because we're the ones that did it. Allegedly! Not allegedly. You told me to do it, and I did it. Reportedly! Let's not go accusing people and inviting a lawsuit until we know the facts! Who's gonna sue us? Us? We're gonna- wait, we're gonna sue ourselves? I'm going to defer this conversation to my legal team! So that means the staff meeting is over? No! Why not? We have too much to discuss! Isn't that right, Simmons? <sighs> Absolutely, sir. No one has ever been more right than you. Wow. Someone's phoning it in. If the Blues aren't in Command's database, that means even if we destroy them in a resounding victory, it still won't count as a win! It's like we didn't even beat anybody! Hey, that's right! I never thought about that, sir! Meh, whatever. So that means we can't kill the Blues! Exactly, because if we defeated them, it wouldn't even count! And that's the best part about winning a war, getting the points! Bingo! No, why would we try to win? It's only what we're supposed to do. We need to find a way to get them back in the database first! So, your plan is to hold off our attack until our superior officers take notice of one of the teams in this canyon? And, notice them well enough to actually go out of their way to add them back into the database? Or do anything at all in any way to formally recognize one of us in an official capacity? You got it! This is probably the single greatest plan I've ever heard in my entire life. You would think that, kiss ass. Simmons, can it! And thank you, Private... Uh, Griff? Ugh. You're... welcome? Am I saying that right? So, our first order of business should be to fortify our own team. Get ready for the big battle. Let's get Donut back on his feet. Hey, where's Donut? Simmons, where'd he go? How would I know? Uh -oh. Keeping track of Donut is one of your duties! Oh, ho, ho. busted. Eh, who cares? And then there was a time we turned all of our armor black because Tex was captured. You remember her. I told you all about her. It was a crazy adventure. Then there was another time when she helped us break into O'Malley's fortress. Did I tell you that one already? Hey! Do you ever get the feeling that you're being watched by someone? Donut, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Okay, so I guess Donut is officially back, but it the, I I don't I don't get it because the the last time that we saw him it was so it was just weird he just happens to pop up in the in the holographic thingy downstairs I 
I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess he's back. I, I guess this is him officially back. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll have to keep watching to find out. But yeah, <laughs> this season is off to a great start because I'm already cracking up. And that's always a good sign. <laughs> Laughter. Come on, man! Lopez said do that one this way! Are you sure that's what he said? I don't think Pendejo was Spanish for that way. <laughs> Muffin man! Caboose! I have a message for church! Where, where is he? Hey, are you okay? Just a little weak. Where's church? Church? Oh, uh, he's out here right now. Where is he? Uh, he's a... He, that's kind of a... Uh, it turns out he was running a computer program based on some guy who ran a freelancer project. Then he went with Agent Washington. He's a freelancer and destroyed all the other AIs that were left. Well, almost all. How long was I asleep? Not that long. Listen, I don't know how long I can stay awake. I need to get someone on Blue Team a message. I promised. I know people on the Blue Team. People on the inside. You can give it to me. Tuck. Tuck. You want me to tuck? What do you want me to tuck? Wait, my mother told me never to tuck anything of anyone else's. Tucker! Tucker? He needs help. Find him. It's in the sand. It's in this ed. This ed what? Don't like this ed what? What is this? What, what, your pocket? Is Tucker in your pocket? I remember him being a lot bigger. Tucker! Are you in there? Hey! Anybody here? Blue? Where are you? Tucker! Is that you? You don't want to look in there. Why did you shrink? And why are you talking like a pirate? Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Then get outside. I need to talk to you. Out? Oh, I see. I thought... Man, sometimes I'm so dumb. Hold on, Pocket Tucker! Well, at least he acknowledges Someone it. Someone outside wants to talk to me! Donut, you can rest here as long as you want. You must be tired from all of this ad. And other stuff. No. It's not pink. Slightest, Slightest red. red. I know it. <laughs> hey, Sarge. I should totally get a jetpack. Or a motorcycle. <laughs> hey, guys. Great to see you. Wait. Unless you're here to blow me up, then not so great. We're looking for something we've, uh, uh lost. Is it the keys to your base? I do that a lot. But it's really easy to break in because... There are no doors. No, we're looking for something else. But I'm not going to tell you what it is and give you some kind of advantage. Can you describe it? Yeah, it's pink. It's annoying. It's kind of a spring in its step. Oh, you mean Donut. Ah, yes. Where is he? He's in my base. He'll be staying with me for a little while. You've captured him? Diabolical. <laughs> what are you doing with him? Don't worry. He's resting. Comfortably. Ooh, that sounds ominous. Don't back down now, sir. Give him back. Actually, there's some things he needs to tell me. I'll send him home after that. Squeezing him for information, eh? Sarge, I don't think that he's... Hey! No one is squeezing anybody. I was just working with my tools. He... Torture! You ungodly fiend! He won't give you any info. You'll die before he reveals anything. Hear that, Donut? You'll die before you talk. We all know that. Keep up the good work. Actually, he already told me the beginning part. He told you about our secret new vehicle? Damn it, Donut, you idiot! Sarge! He told me about... This and. He told you about that and our new hologram chamber? Donut, put a lid on it. Sarge? I'm gonna go sleep under a tree. Come wake me up when the brain summit is over. Are you kidding? I hope this lasts forever. Psst. Hey, Sarge, maybe there's a ransom. Good thinking. What is it you want, Blue? What do I want? Do you have any cookies? What are your demands? You have to give us your demands. I demand cookies. Now you're just toying with us. Your depravity knows no bounds. Yeah. Well, at least I don't go around knocking on people's non-doors and promising them cookies and then not giving them cookies. I'm leaving. Wait. Hmm. Looks like negotiations have broken down. Should we call in a nuke strike? Negative. We've got a man in there. Well, you know, donut. Ow. That hurt. Ow. Oh, listen to that. He's killing him in there. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Donut. Right. Didn't mean to step on your head like that. Are you okay? What happened? Who was that? Oh, that was your team. They're playing some kind of prank. Offering snacks and they're not giving snacks. I hate when they do that. Who was it? Oh, it was Red Sergeant and Griff. They were working together while Simmons was laying under a tree being lazy. What the? How long was I asleep this time? 
donut. Just don't tell him we have Lopez back. It's funny because it's almost like Griff and Simmons have swapped roles. <laughs> I'm still really confused about how Donut is suddenly back, but I'm hoping they'll still explain it. I'm just, I'm just still a bit confused. <laughs> Private Donut, we want to debrief you now that your tour in Blood Gulch is over. Here we Great! Go. Wait, over? I'm just going to ask you some standard questions to rate your experience, and I will be filling out a form based on your responses. Do you understand? Yes, sir. All right, then let's begin. During your deployment, you were assigned to the Red Team. Is that correct? That's right! You can tell by my lightish red armor. I'm a bit confused. By lightish red, do you mean pink? No, I mean lightish red. Let's come back to this during the freeform <laughs> period. Okie doke. Now, as to your experience in Blood Gulch, would you say it was satisfactory, somewhat satisfactory, or unsatisfactory? I would say... satisfactory. All right. Now I want you to look at this picture. Oh, hey, I know where that is. Which of the following best describes this picture? Would you say it is A, the new location where your team was assigned, B, the source of a mysterious energy reading, or C, That's just where we landed. Where you landed. Can you elaborate? Yeah, we were defusing a bomb by this guy Omega, but then the bomb went off and it was such a huge explosion that it totally threw us into the future and we landed there in that place. I'm not sure I understand. The future? Sarge said that since we were surrounded by ice when the bomb went off, and then it was all sand, the Ice Age must have ended, and that would have taken a really long time. So, it must have pushed us into the future. I don't have a checkbox for that. So I'm just going to write down other. Yeah, other works. I like other. Well, I suppose there's no reason to ask the rest of our questions. Thank you for a very enlightening interview. So, then after that, they transferred me to that new base. I guess we left before we were supposed to do what they wanted us to. That's a pretty crazy story, Donut. But when I got there, all I found was a distress beacon from Tucker. It said to get church. I think Tucker was captured. There was something there. Something scary. That sounds scary. Yeah. Hey, this thing sure makes a racket. Who, Epsilon? Yeah, it does that when you talk to it. It loves when people tell it stories. Especially about things that have happened to us and, and people we've met. You've been telling it stories? Yeah, you know, to the best of my memory. The best of your memory? Yeah. I bet those are some pretty weird stories. So, what is it? Oh, it's a memory component from a bigger AI that a bunch of scientists wanted to copy to make more, but they couldn't. So they drove it crazy until it developed a split personality, and then they harvested all the different personalities for their experiments. Yeah. Pretty weird. I'm using it and parts from Texas Body and parts from Sheila to make a new super best friend. But it's not going so well. I lit myself on fire. Where did you get it? We went on a big adventure, kind of like your adventure, and then we needed help, kind of like you need help. And then we needed some help, and we got help from somebody. It was very helpful. Well, could the person who helped you help us now? Oh. Oh? Washington, got a call for you. A call for me? Who even knows I'm here? Came in on your personal secure channel. They routed it to us. You can take it in here if you want. Thanks. Three minutes. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is he in prison? This is Agent... Um, this is Washington. Who's there? Agent Washington! Oh, dear Lord. Caboose? How did you even find me? You are on my computer screen! I just looked at it! No, I mean... Never mind. What's going on? Are you okay? I haven't heard anything about you. Oh, yeah! I'm good! How about you? All things considered, I guess I should be glad to be alive. Yeah! Did you get a big medal for beating Project Freelancer? Yeah, sure. I've got a bunch more medal in my life now. How about you? They gave us shiny new bases! The Reds have their place, and I have my own place! It's kinda cool! I think I'm going to get a drum set. Yeah. Wait. Seriously? You have a new base? Well, it's not no no. They gave us the ones that were abandoned for Project Freelancer. They gave you 
a base. What? You didn't get a new base, too? No. No, I didn't. Well, you can come here and share my base with me. Oh, we need your help. Can you come right away? Can you come help us? I don't think that's going to happen. All right, Washington. Back in your cell. Guard, I need to see the commander. Now. Yeah, right. Why the hell would I let you do that? Because I think I've just found the missing piece to his puzzle. Wait, what? Seriously, stop it! They're 
going to hear you! It's you. It's you! Hello, Grooms. It seems fitting to say that it is good to see you again. Although, technically, that is untrue. Don't die! I thought you were gone! I thought you were erased in the uh, electronic thing whose name some people have trouble remembering. Actually, this is not Delta. We simply felt that you would be most comfortable speaking to Delta. We? Yes, Epsilon strongly remembers all the other AI fragments. When Alpha went insane, Epsilon carried the burden of those memories. We can appear as anyone, in this case, Delta, who, from your stories, was a trusted source of information for you. Therefore, we felt it best that we take his likeness for this conversation. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, we felt you would say that. So you can appear as anyone? Theoretically, yes. Anyone in our memory banks. What about a chair? If you felt that was fitting. The holographic technology in this room allows us to project ourselves in any map. It is surprisingly advanced. How about a giraffe? Look, let's just say we can look like many different things and just leave it at that. Okay? Okay. We regret that we will not be able to appear to you or communicate with you outside of this room, so you must listen carefully. Caboose, did you understand what- I'm listening carefully. All right, it can be hard to tell. Caboose, we need you to find a way to help us. Washington said, when Epsilon was recovered, that our memories could be used to punish the people who tortured Alpha. Okay. Washington will not trust us, and our new recent attempts to build a new body are not working. We had a fire! We remember. Your friend from Red Team described a location nearby with a strange energy source. Oh, that's where Tucker is. We don't have many memories of him. Yeah, I never really liked him, so... I leave him out of most of the stories. The Freelance Project found a source of intense energy, so a scenario team was sent to investigate the area. But they left without doing anything. They sound dumb. Indeed. This place sounds like the location of the energy source. You should go there and investigate. We can explain more when the opportunity arises. Okay, I can help you do that. Even if it helps Tucker, too. Thank you, Coons. We have to go now. Someone is coming. Remember, memory is the key. What? I thought we were done with that part. Aha! Uh -huh! Somebody is down here! See? I told you it wasn't me who moved your favorite crate. All right, Simmons. I said I believed you. Let us drop it already. I don't know why you like that stupid thing so much anyway. Hey, Blue! What do you think you're doing down here? You better not have messed up any of my stuff! Messed up what? Everything down here is fake. Yeah, well who knows how he could have sabotaged the system? Better run a diagnostic. Yeah, if he sabotaged anything, I'm sure he just ended up fixing it. What do you think you're doing down here, Blue? Nothing. I was just, uh, I was just looking around. I need to leave anyways. I have to pack. See? Problem averted. Back to, wait, you're leaving leaving? Uh, I need to find my friend Tucker. The guy in the desert? Awesome! But then there won't be any more blues here, which means they'll probably say- Actually, I've got to go find Tucker and bring it back. Then there will be two blues! Plenty for you to fight! <laughs> Why don't I have confidence in this mission? Yeah, it sounds super dangerous, but I'm sure I can manage. I've done dangerous stuff before, and I've always come out fine, both physically and... Caboose? Mentally! Yeah, this is not gonna work. <laughs> hey, Sarge, permission to go on the Blue's stupid mission? What? What? Don't you see? If he dies on his mission, and let's be honest, when he dies on his mission, that means they won't be back in Command's records yet. Well, that's not good. But if I help him pull this off, then Command might notice them and put him back in. Excellent point, Griff. No, it isn't. Permission granted. Um, you've never actually said that to me before. That means yes, right? Yes. Okay, just checking. I'm coming with you! What? What? Simmons, how about you, Yen? I think I'll stay at the base and provide logistical support, sir. Sounds good. Let's get a move on. We'll either restore the blues or we'll fail and I'll get to watch you die. It's a no-lose. Sounds perfect. Wait, you mean Simmons gets to hang out at the base while I go out on a dangerous mission? That's right. Enjoy the limelight, Private Kissass. I'll just be hanging out here with Donut until you get back. <sighs> I think it's time for a nap. Oh, man. This is going to be great. It'll be like a sleepover. And we can decorate. How awesome is this going to be? I'll go get my wallpaper book. Simmons, you be thinking about paint colors. Oh, man. I think, I think I'm, I'm regretting, regretting this already. already.
I don't get it. How have their roles switched? Was there something that I, that I missed throughout these few episodes? Because Griff and Simmons have done a complete swap. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm liking this though. It's, it's fun. I, I don't remember season seven very well at all, so it, it's like seeing this new again, but it, it kind of jogs my memory a little when I see it again. But it's fun. I like it. But that is going to be it for this React episode today. We have watched six episodes plus the trailer, and I believe there are 19 episodes in total, so we'll get through this season in two more React episodes. And then season eight, and then nine, and ten, and so on and so forth, and whatever other miniseries I need to watch in between. It'd actually be really cool to catch up on all the seasons that they've uploaded so far, and get to that point to where I'm actually watching one episode as they release them. I think that'd be really cool, so I hope I get to that point. I don't know where they are with the show currently, I believe they've uploaded uh, episodes of season 17, I don't know if they've finished. Um, I haven't been paying attention because obviously I don't want to accidentally spoil myself by researching too much, so yeah, we've got, <laughs> we've got 10 seasons to go. <laughs> we'll get there though but I am trying to cram in a decent amount of the episodes while not being too overloaded with information. Um, but it's it's mainly the, the new episodes that, that I'm going to be really excited for. And yeah, hopefully we will get to that point where we catch up completely and then I can just start reacting to an episode when they upload a new one. I think that would be pretty pretty fun. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the start to season seven. It's very promising so far. It's making me laugh and it's good to get back into the show and watching it again. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm very much looking forward to the end of this season and hopefully seeing all the gang back together. That's going to be really fun. If you enjoyed this episode, nuke that like button. And if you haven't already, then make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay rad my friends. Bye!